Listen to a story that's not so long. A story of anarchy servers that have come and gone. A few months ago, I made a video on this channel advertising a 2B2T clone server by the name of 2B2T.ca. The server was started in alpha versions, and the map was never reset, only updated so chunk errors were allowed to occur, creating a more natural look that resembled 2B2T more closely than other clones. For this reason, it was quite popular. However, the server was run by a YouTuber who, admittedly, wasn't very good at running it. And occasionally, the server had trouble keeping up with amount of players, it had lag, and sometimes it would even go down. Although I was good friends with the owner of the server, I did have my own complaints, and I made them known. My video was not only meant to advertise the server, but also poke fun at the lack of management and the problems occurring on the server that I felt could be easily fixed. Soon, an individual that I don't really know a lot about, going by the name of Z80, contacted the owner of the server, who is known on YouTube as MC Sapling, telling him that he would be able to up the performance of the server. They eventually reached an agreement, and Z80 delivered. However, eventually, Z80 would grow to have more and more influence over the server. He would complain about not being paid enough, and that he was not getting the respect that he deserved. Eventually, he was able to convince MC Sapling to give him access to the server, which he promptly stole. This was done against the will of the owner of the server, MC Sapling. Z80 claims to this day that he has done nothing wrong. He claims he was never compensated for the work that he put into the server, and that it was his right to put into place what people who played on the server wanted to be on the server. Perhaps the most interesting claim that he's made is that he has gained the right to the server by some kind of democratic process. As if your right to what you own is determined by the consent of everybody else, not yourself. In response to these claims, MC Sapling has stated that he paid Z80 more than he requested himself, as evidenced by these screenshots here. Recently, my good old pal Salsi1 made a YouTube video featuring anarchy servers like 2B2T. He featured an anarchy server by the name of Solvenda, which in reality is the new rebranded version of 2B2T.ca that was stolen by Z80 all those months ago. Effectively by doing this, Salsi1 has sealed the fate of 2B2T.ca. Now, even if MC Sapling wanted to remake his server with the same map, it would no longer ever reach the same level of popularity that Solvenda, his original server, reached. Honestly, I know I'm biased here, but this kid in no way knew that he was being used and manipulated into having his server taken from him. He worked for two years to make this server. It's literally been his, like, obsession for like two years is to get this server 2b2t.ca up on its feet. Isn't it kind of bad to just take that all away from someone? I mean, I'm not usually one for emotional arguments, but come on. I don't know the current state of the server, honestly, because I don't really ask anyone about it anymore. I don't know if somehow his friends have like regained control over the Discord or if Z80 still owns the server or if he's changed his name or something like that. So I'm not going to comment about the server as of right now. But that's the history of the thing. That's what Solvenda is all about. And I have been Lord Pasta here to give you the facts or, or the opinions I guess because I only have one half of this story. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next one.
peace. Always have to tell the truth, yeah, never lie. Yeah. I got you. Yep. I got you. And you know, let me tell you one thing. I will fulfill your needs at this company. I'm glad I will. to hear that. I will fulfill your needs. Sounds wonderful. Um, any other questions? Um, no, I believe that I've expressed all that I can about myself to you, and and you as the employer um, can make an objective decision about me. All right. Well, it was I nice talking to you. Thank you very much, yeah, thank thank you very much you. for the opportunity. Yeah, no problem.